Welcome to this lecture. This is Vijay Kumar from Dynacode Academy. So in this lecture, I'm going to create the UI when we select the option and when the answer is correct or when the answer is incorrect. So we need to create three more screens to demonstrate the concept. So switch back to Adobe XD. So first I'm going to do what? I'm going to just simply click on this main quiz UI screen and I'm going to simply press Ctrl V and I'm going to click on this layer tab so it will give us a more wider area to work. First, I'm going to do what? I'm going to rename this to main quiz UI screen to call it as when quiz option is selected. Selected and hit enter. So, what I'm going to do? I'm going to just simply click on this first one. So, when the answer is selected, so I'm going to make it as little yellowish color. Since the fill, I want little yellow and that's okay. So I don't want a border nor the fill I wanted, but I don't want a border. So that's a thing that we want. So I'm going to just switch between these two drawables when inside of the Android Studio to perform a blink animation. Means after one second, it will change to default one. Then after one second, it will change into this yellow one. So it will create the impact that the answer is in process. So I'm going to do the same with all of these options as well. I'm going to select this one. And again, I'm going to select this one and just not selected this one. And again, I'm going to by pressing shift key select this one as well. And also this one. Then I'm going to fill it with the same color that is this one. And just remove the border. So it will make the selectable quiz screen option screen. So this is the whole design for the selectable quiz option. Again, I'm going to copy it, control V. So I'm going to get the when the answer is correct. So I'm going to type when quiz option option correct. Simply hit enter. So when the answer is correct, so I want to show a green color to indicate that the selected answer is correct. So I'm going to click on this green color that is one this one. I'm going to click on pick tool, pick color tool and I want this one and I also want the color of this little arrow to be the same as the timer green. So I'm going to click on this one again. This is the same as this one. And I'm going to select this all the three remaining our options design. Hit on this fill tab, not the fill tab, just click on this pick color tool and just color the same with the. So this will be the option when our answer is correct perform the blink animation and after that the blink animation if the selected answer is correct then it will show this green option with the drawable if i say in android terms and again i'm going to select this one this artboard and enter control cv for the quick copy and paste so this one is when the answer when the select when the quiz option wrong so I'm going to select this one and I'm going to type wrong. Hit enter. Don't want the one at the end. So when the answer is incorrect, I want to change it to red. So the red color that is this one. So again I'm going to select all the remaining three ones and just with the use of pick tool, I can directly color it to all these as red. Now I'm not using the text in between these because the text we are going to add inside of the Android Studio with the use of text property of button instead of directly specifying the text because this is the random text it will be changes according to the when a next question come questions will be fetched from the database maybe error list maybe from server so that's why we need to only create the background inside of the graphical design tool don't need to specify the text if you specify the text so later on if you export it the text will also be exported and there is no way to remove the text inside of the Android Studio on a graphical system, means on a graphical .png file. So that's all about the three screens. This is for selected, this is for when the answer is correct and this is for when the answer is wrong. So I also want to add one more thing. If the timer goes zero, then what will be the result of this UI, means this graphical element. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to change the color to red when the timer reaches to zero. Also the text color I want to change it to 
red and the background I'm going to change it to the white so this will be the impact when the timer reaches to zero it will show us on the next time a timer dialog time sub dialog to indicate the user that you have run out of your time and you don't process means don't select the option so it will show the times up and the quiz will be quit so we are going to do all these things in our next videos means in our next upcoming videos the first we are going to create the time sub dialog ui then the second we are going to create the another ui dialog when the user won the quiz and the another dialog that we need is a user lost the quiz so all these three screens we are going to create in our upcoming videos so for now that's it about this video so if you like this video then please share it to your friends and also subscribe to my channel so that's all about this lecture thanks for watching and i will see you in the next lecture thank you